I were in uh, at the Dunn Airport in uh, Titusville, Florida. Now uh, we've got uh, one person that's walking away here, Vernon. Weren't you the weren't you the first one to put a Viking in a Zenit? Yep, I sure was. How did that work out for you? Works out real good. Yeah. And your airplane is here today? Yes, it's right, sitting right over there. Okay. It's got almost 400 hours on it. 400 hours? Yep. How does that compare to those people that say that the Viking is so new and, and I don't want to try it and I'm going to wait and all that? That doesn't hold water no. anymore, does it? No, it sure doesn't. Because we have no trouble at all with that thing. Where have you been with it? Oh, we've been to Arizona. We've been to uh, Rhode Island twice. We've been to Zenith twice. That's a Zenith factory. And so where else have we been? Well, oh, all we've over. Been, we've been up to uh, that little peninsula in uh, Wisconsin. And we've been to Oshkosh twice. Uh, Sun and Fun twice. Sebring twice. Just a lot of places. All right. That's how it's got that many hours on it. Now, you've been recommending this engine to other people because yep. you like it so much. And one of those people is here today with us. Yep. Actually, there's several here today. There's, we got one here, we got one here. We got somebody over there that's putting one in a Kit Fox. It looks like uh, the Dunn Airport is uh, Viking Heaven. This is Viking <laughs> Heaven. This, this, is, this is the heaven of all. Uh, and what's your name, sir? Bob. Call me Bob. My okay. Name, real name uh, is Reichel, but don't call me that. My friends call me Bob. Okay, and you love Zenith because you have built what? Two of them? I have built two of them. I'm like Vern. I guess I have a passion for Zeniths. Uh, but I have the 650. Yeah. And I have a 750. Uh, I saw I built, built two aircraft in three years. Yeah, kind of like Vern. He, how many planes have you built, Vern? I've built three. I've built one, one uh, 750 and two 750s. You mean uh, the one, 701? 701, I meant to say. Okay. And you've built a... 650 and a 750. And, but you've been flying them before, or one of them flew yes. before. I, I've been flying this one before. The 650, it's, it's three years old. Or, not three years, it's two years old since I finished building it. Uh, originally, I had a Jabiro engine in it, uh, whatever. And I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with it. So... Well, you had you had the little one, right? It was a little one. <laughs> right. So the aircraft just didn't perform what I think it needed to be for me with what I want to use this aircraft for, and that's cross-country. Right. And all I can say is, so far, this engine is the engine that general aviation amateur built should be looking at because it's such a sweetheart. It's so easy to install. Uh, as long as you can do a little wiring, uh, the engine itself is ready for you when you get it. And I'll say this, I've flown it now, I've got two and a half hours on it. Uh, just kind of tweaking it out. Took it up today, and at uh, around 4,800 RPM, I'm popping along at 130 miles an hour. Wow. And takeoff, I've went from less than 300 feet a minute I don't know what this thing would do. By the time I get to the end of the runway, I'm over 400 feet up. And I have not even, not even got up to my uh, best rate of climb. I'm sitting there at 70 and 80 miles an hour, and I'm already up to 400 feet. It's, it's just phenomenal. This, and this engine is just, I can't say enough about it. It's just, and also, the fuel consumption, it's just so bad that I'm only burning about three gallons an hour. Right, so you're basically uh, still kind of babying it. I'm babying yeah. it. I'm right. babying it. Uh, at that rate of consumption, I flew it today. I was up for a half an hour. I went through the pattern, took it out a little ways, see what she would do, brought her back in the pattern. I burned one gallon in a half an hour. Wow. And that's taking off, doing that, climbing up to, I was up to almost 2,000 feet. Came back into the pattern and landed, but I was up for a half an hour. And I know what I burn because I measure the tanks and I can measure it down to a half a gallon. Very good. So very net right now. Now what's your other project? You told me, uh, I mean, I know that you bought more than one engine from yeah, Viking. Yeah, my other project is a 750. I haven't flown it yet. Um, hopefully I will here in within two weeks. It's over my other hangar. I'm sharing this hangar with a friend of mine. And that's another thing I will say. This, uh, 
with Jan's help, I put this carbon fiber prop on there, which I think is just a thing of beauty. And so far, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, it's, it's really doing the job for me. Uh, my 750 over there, I've started it, run it, uh, taxied it. I'm just getting ready to fly it. I've been wanting, taking some lessons on landing because it's a little different than this guy. The different, it's got a different landing attitude and speed. Uh, but I just love this engine. I, I really do. I, I just love the fact that it come to me ready to put in, and I don't have to worry about a lot of things to keep it running right. And that in the respect, oh yeah, I gotta make sure the cooling fins are right, the cooling ducts are in there, this is that and this and that. Everything's here. It's it's, it's really it's really phenomenal. Jan, you did a great job. I love it. All right. Well, we'll see you around a lot more, and we'll build oh, yeah. time on the uh, on your engine, and then uh, once you get your 750 flying, we'll come down and see you again. That's great. All right. Appreciate thanks. It. Mr. Bauman. Oh, it's <laughs> you, a movie. You're on video. <laughs> what are you doing today? Uh, right now, uh, we put the unassembled plane into the hangar. Okay, Un uh, unassembled, but the, what kind of a plane? Uh, it's a kind of a Kit Fox. Kit Fox 7. Yep. And what kind of an engine are you going to put in your Kit Fox 7? So we have many choices, but uh, we will go for uh, the Viking engine. Oh, okay. <laughs>